let's see, uh, what I did on my uh, summer vacation, well, <coughs> excuse me, pardon me, well, I, uh, I, I polished all of my sister's uh, uh, rusty silverware, <coughs> excuse me, pardon, I, 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 oh, I, I rode my bike to St. Mary's uh, uh, Carnival. Well, that was before it got stolen. I didn't like that very much. Oh, and uh, let's see, I helped my grandmother plant her yellow croissants. I helped her plant her yellow chrysanthemums, and uh, uh, well, also known as chrysanthemum ipsilantis. She has a lovely garden. <laughs> Let's see, where was that? Germany, France, Italy, um, Egypt. The pyramids were so, so big, don't you think, girls? <laughs> Moscow, Japan, oh yes, the Great Wall of China. When the sun was shining so beautifully in your hair. Ooh la la, Le Wheelie? Why yes, that was the day I popped a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> The cruising world, we've got 14 countries, 14 full road races. If you can imagine like your favorite Hot Wheels collection, Hot Wheels set when you're a kid. That's really what, you know, this kind of reminds me of. It's like, yeah, now I can play like a 12-year-old for the rest of my life. Awesome. We want a player to sit down and be able to do what a player would always want to do in a car if they could do it. It's kind of a virtual tourism. Um, it's, it's a fantasy, and we want it to come alive. Cruising the USA has just been, you know, so successful. Um, players really accept the game and continue to play it, you know, feverishly. You know, two years later, it's still on the top of the charts. And so Cruising World kind of was that was inspired by you know, players' suggestions and ideas and fantasies. And players wanted to go, you know, all over the world. The, the scenery you see is the real thing, it's the real McCoy. I mean, it's, we went there, we saw it, we shot it. We went to Europe, we went to London, we went to uh, Germany, we went to Italy, we went to all these different places. We took the footage from there, we, we sculpted what we saw, and then we put that into the game. We wanted to give the player more. For example, tighter steering control, ergonomically designed seating. We wanted more options. We wanted more secret cars. The vehicles you can choose anywhere, anything from you know, super high-powered sports car to a Humvee military vehicle to a three-wheeled delivery cart, you know, I <laughs> mean, and, and they're all fun. And you can win the race in a three-wheeled delivery cart, <laughs> you know, thumbing your nose at the world. A player will never be able to tell you why a game is cooler when the frame rate changes, but when you give them a faster frame rate, they're gonna like it. It's more interaction, they're gonna enjoy it. And cruising, World Cruising has this. Uh, it has it over Cruising USA. There's two models. There's the 25-inch deluxe sit-down, small enough to fit in a lot of street locations, yet gives you a full sit-down experience. It's got a totally revamped sound system. The other configuration is our 33-inch simulator, which is just awesome. I mean, it's got the super wide screen, it's got a full dashboard, um, you know, it's, it's like driving a car. And you can link up to four of these things together for just, you know, a huge impact. Of course it's not realistic. Who cares? It's fun, you know? That's the point. I mean, that's, I think that's the thing that I think a lot of people are missing right now in the whole driving game environment is they're trying to go for reality. Well, I drive enough, and thank you, but no thank you. I don't want reality, I want fun. Everybody wants to see the world. I mean, we pay thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to you know, go on world cruises and fly to all these cities and see stuff. And here for, you know, 
in one play, you can go out there and see any place in the world you want. Yes, exactly right. We'll do lunch. Lunch at the Coliseum, right of the Vatican. We'll meet by the gondola. 